Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. Rain showers continue across uh, well, the region here, but locally here within the Wabash Valley. Not picking up on any shower activity. It's still going to be just back to our west this morning. Some scattered showers from Champaign back toward Decatur, Illinois. Still going to get the chance for some of these showers to push in during the morning, and I do believe the better chance to see rain today is going to be during the first part of the day. So let's look at this on Futurecast again. This is where the uh, scattered rain showers are going to be set up around 7 o'clock this morning as we put Futurecast into motion. You can definitely see the rain will We'll be around at least a chance for it. Rain showers become rather scattered out there for us during the first part of the day. And I do believe there will be several dry hours this afternoon before another chance for at least a stray shower or two does push back into the valley around 7 o'clock this evening. So afternoon plans if you've been avoiding outdoors for the past couple of days due to rain showers. Again, I do believe there will be several dry hours this afternoon before uh, some more rain works its way back in for us this evening. But still, they are going to be very scattered in nature. And what I mean by that is it's not going to be widespread rain like what we had around yesterday. It pretty much rained from start to finish without any breaks in the rain. And again, today I do believe there will be several dry hours embedded throughout the afternoon. Through the evening and overnight tonight, again, rain showers will be around as the system lifts off to the north by about 7 a.m. on Friday. But Friday, once again, will shape up to be another very rainy day. The showers push right back in, spreading out throughout the valley around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And that's why we are looking at that unsettled pattern to continue with us throughout the day on Friday. In fact, I think rain chances are going to be a little bit better tomorrow, even as compared to today. But once we get that rain out of here, this is midnight. So we head through the first part of the day on Saturday. You can see that rain really clears out. In fact, those skies are going to continue to clear out. And with that, some of those cooler temperatures start to fluctuate in. In fact, with that mostly clear sky, overnight low temperatures are going to get back into the lower 30s, so or the upper 30s rather. So just keep in mind that we are definitely going to see some of those cooler temperatures across the valley as we head through the next few days. In fact, your average daytime high should still be up near around 75 degrees, and we are just not going to be anywhere near that both today and tomorrow with highs only in the mid 50s. But come this weekend, and especially as we head through the first part of next week. Those temperatures continue to trend upward back to 67 on Sunday and into the 70s as we kick off the first part of next week. So those warmer, more seasonal temperatures do look to return as we head in through the first part of next week. We just got to get through the next couple of days where the cooler air is around and those uh, cloudy skies continue with us. A chance for showers again today with uh, again, several dry hours especially as compared to yesterday with high of 56 degrees this afternoon. Turning rather chilly with rain showers becoming more widespread, a low 42 degrees to the overnight and again another rain filled day shaping up for Friday and still cool with a high of only 55 degrees as we wrap up our work week. We'll take rain now the forecast again after a very chilly start to the day on Saturday. Keep in mind we look for the development of frost whenever we see these temperatures dropping as low as 36, perhaps 35. Five mid 30s. So we're going to be very close to that, especially across northern portions of the valley. If you do have those plants growing outside, which pretty much everyone does at this point, it's mid May. Keep in mind, it is going to be a very cool start to the day on Saturday. For your weekend, Sunday looks to be the better day of the two with the mostly sunny skies, temperature slightly warmer, a high back near 67. And we finally see the return of the 80s by midweek next week, a high near 80 on Wednesday.